Hi friends, here in this Kinter window we have two buttons and one label. By clicking any one button, the corresponding math, uh, message we are displaying on the label. So your button one, so button one message and button two message. Now what we will learn is without clicking the button one, say by clicking the button two, we will able to simulate the click event of the button one. It is like without touching the button one, we will able to associate the click event and trigger the button one. So that part we will learn. This is a blank template. We will start from here. We are imported Kinter and uh, this is our parent window. So this is a geometry. The width is 420 here and the height 200. You can change it as per your requirement. Now on this, we'll place our buttons and the label where we will be displaying it. Now, if you have already aware of this, you can skip to and move forward and we'll just discuss a little about layout because many beginners are there. So it's uh, B1 is the button. Uh, we want to declare it TK dot button. Now, what's our parent window? It's my underscore W at line number two we have declared. So second line. So that is what we will be using. Now some text will write it. So we'll write in one. Now little higher font we'll use. So font is 28. Now we'll bring it to next line and give the command there. So for that, let's just, okay, command. This is equal to lambda. Now we are saying, specifying that L1 dot config. What is L1? We have so far not declared it. So, and in we are configuring that wizard on click of this button. So we are saying that configure this L1, whatever the text is there. So this config can be used for any uh, other wizard also. So any parameter we can manage that. So we are saying the text you change it to button one because we want to say that this button one is click L A M. Fine. So this is what we have written here. Now button one is ready. Now, now we'll just copy this and okay. Sorry. We have to place it on the grid. We have not done that. So we'll say B one dot grid where we are placing row equal to zero. This is the first element column equal to zero. Now pad X slightly from the left edge. We are giving 30. We are not flushing with the left edge pad Y from the top. Also we are giving 10. So pad X pad Y and we have placed it in a grid. Now let's copy this use slightly change it and use it as, as button two. Here it is. So this will make it B2. Here also we'll say it is B2. Now column right of it will are placing. So we'll give the column as one pad X slightly will reduce it. That much gap is not required here. Now L1 config text here. The config will say two. So because second one is there. So B2 TK tech font is there here. Also the text will change it to two. So these two are the uh, changes we have done to that pad Y is 10. Now let's come come here and add the label here. So below that L1 TK dot label my underscore W is my parent window now text because this is the default text when the uh, window opens this will come but the moment we click a button one or button two this text will be replaced so we are saying no click or whatever text you want you can give it so slightly here comma bg equal to yellow because we just want to give some prominent color uh, background there a uh, little We'll, we'll add some style also width equal to let's give 13. Now let's okay. This is not coming up here. Okay, fine. Now let me come to next line Width I have given as uh, 13 now slightly bigger font. I'm using font. You know, it's text three pa parameters. So we'll say times now we'll say uh, 26 let's give 26 as the style and you can normal we can give bold italic or anything as per your now let's place this on grid so we'll say l1 dot grid it is next row so we are saying row equal to one because top two buttons we have given column uh, as sorry row as zero so column equal to zero the first one now slightly pad x 30 pad y from the top 
10. Now let will give column span also. Column span, let us give 3. So, it's, it should span and it should not shift the top two buttons. So, that is uh, that is all. Let us just save this. We will run this one and see how the layout looks. Here it is 1, 2 clicks. Now, okay, now we have configured also. So, this should let us be click 1, button 1. Let me click button 2. Now, this is button 2 again back to button 1. So, because what happened here you can see the command we have written. Once I am clicking button 1, here you can see button 1 is text. I am changing the label of uh, the label uh, whatever I have written here. Now, when I am clicking button 2, this text here the text is whatever text I have written that I am configuring. Now, we will change this. So, what happens whenever we click the button 2, we will able to simulate the click event of button 1. Let us close this window. Now, we, we can see whenever we open this window again, there is no click because we have not clicked any one of the button. So, by default message is giving. Now, let us say that once the window is opened, uh, this should simulate the second button click or B2 click. So, I am writing here B2 dot invoke. This invoke, this is triggers the button. So, this moment because once the page uh, this uh, particular window loads, this particular B2 invoke is triggered, a uh, runs and that triggers the button 2. So, the text now will be button 2. We can see that button 2 is displayed because moment I am opening it, it is simulating the click of a button so of the second button. Now, let me close this. I will comment this line. Okay, by default it comes. Here what I will do, I will remove this but uh, up to from here I will change this. Okay, let me just write it, uh, bring it here so I can use it again. Control C, Control V. I can just keep this, I can just copy here, I removed it. Now what I will do here, instead of configuring that, up to this I am removing. Now I will say B1 dot invoke. Now, what I am doing? I am just whenever I am clicking button 2, B2 is here the button 2. When I am clicking, I am saying simulate the what command is given at the button 1. So, button 1 command is this. So, this command will be simulated. Now, I am saving this. Let us check this. Now, you can see that no click because here at line number 14 here, if you are able to see this one is we have commented. So, this is not coming up. So, now let me just click the button 2 you can see it has given button 1. The reason is this particular line. That's because whenever I am clicking the button 1, I am evoking the command of the button 1. Sorry, when I am clicking the button 2, this is evoking that. So, that is why this by using invoke, I can simulate the click event, but you must write what it has to do. So, this part has to be there. Whenever I am invoking or giving the command, this particular command is getting executed. Now, one more thing we will learn. Now, let me just close this. Now, here suppose I am giving B2, B2 invoke I have given. Now, let it, it uh, once I am giving this, this on open, this particular one will trigger that. Let us just check it once. So, uh, while opening, you should open button 1 because this is getting triggered and one next step, this is triggering B1. So, button 1 is uh, message is coming up. Now, suppose I change it to B2. What happens? Now, if I make, make it B2, now this is a, it's something a recursively because it again it clicks that, again it clicks that. Let us just see what the, there will be error. Let us see what error message is coming. Here you can see that the error message comes up here. You can see here, this is the last line. Uh, recursion error, maximum recursion depth exists because it recursively calls the same button click event again and again. So, that is the reason the error we are getting it. So, th that is all friends. This evoke, invoke is a, uh, by using it, we can simulate it. This particularly will use it to generate a certain keyboard events that what we will learn next. So, for that purpose, this we have in depth, we have studied this about the invoke. I will just request you, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So, you will be notified as and when we add new, new tutorials. We frequently do that also. And please share this with your friends. And if you have any doubt, suggestion or question, use the comment section below to post it. Thank you for watching.